still ranks as my favorite person mm -hmm. that I have met. Um, the interview that embarrassed me the most, but um, made me feel really good, was Michael Douglas. Um, I'm, years and years ago, when the, when the views first started, I would talk about incessantly how much I loved Michael Douglas. So, uh, loved him, loved him, thought he was the best in the world. Gordon Gecko was the man. I mean, just loved him, loved him, loved him. And I mean, just to the point, it was annoying. Um, and of course, Barbara knew uh, Michael very well. Their birthdays are the same day. They're part of this 925 birthday. <coughs> um, all people whose birthdays are on September 25th, it's because their parents were doing it on Christmas. <laughs> Nine months later, they all, were, they all were born. I mean, really, that's where it comes from. Okay? Um, I, uh, so, anyway, Michael's going to come on the show. And so, um, uh, Barbara, I think Barbara had sort of, you know, made him aware of how much in love I was of him. And we used to do this thing called Question of the Day, where and it was my job as the host to ask the guest the question of the day. And this question of the day is, what is your most recurring dream? You know, like some people dream, um, mine always is, uh, that I arrive at class and I find that I have never gone to the class before, but there's a final exam that day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dream that I have most often. And I, they say that smart people have that dream because they really are afraid that the world will find out just how dumb they are. <laughs> so, you know, I really had it analyzed, but anyway, I digress. So, Michael comes on, and that's the question that we ask him. And, um, he says, well, I see myself back in the Renaissance period. And I'm wearing these tight pants and these boots. I'm like a sort of a swashbuckler kind of guy. And I've been out slaying dragons all day long. And now, I don't know this, but the camera's on me as he's telling the story. And so I'm like this, <laughs> enthralled. And I'm slaying bread until I come back to my castle. And I'm tired. And I knock at the door. And when I open the door, there's this beautiful, brown, Rubenesque woman. <laughs> and my mouth on television goes, <laughs> does not look attractive, bearing a plate of grapes. <clears throat> and I invite her in. And we share grapes on the board. I really could have passed the hell out. <laughs> I could have passed out. It's really my very favorite interview to, to watch my face because I was mortified and excited all at the same time. Um, so those are fun interviews. I've had some 